Start of day five today. A little bit cloudy today. Drizzling a little bit, but that's fine. As long as it doesn't start coming down like it did yesterday again. Weather forecast says it shouldn't do. Set off again about nine o'clock this morning. I did get up at like 6.30. I wanted to set off really early, but I ran into the same problem I did to, as I um, did the other day. Every time I went to book a hotel, it just kept rejecting it and saying that they don't accept foreigners. So the destination that I wanted to go to, I've altered it quite a lot. And I've got a far shorter route today. I think it's like 90 kilometers. But that's also given me the added benefit that I've got a route straight up the coast. So I should have some nice sea views. Feeling in high spirits. It's not too hot, obviously. And looking forward to today. about halfway there and I've just found this little area which looks quite nice so I'm gonna try and see if I can find somewhere that sells coffee I picked a fantastic place to stop just as soon as I turned the camera off when I went into that small area the first place I went into was like a small cafe and I asked you to do coffee and they said yeah uh, they made me a latte it was a family run cafe and they had the son there and the son's cover cousin their nephew and they both spoke a bit of English and I must have spent like half an hour just having a chat with them and the owners of the cafe have invited me around to their house uh, in Beijing when I go back there they're going to cook me Kung Pao chicken but they were so nice I just sat there for like half an hour just chatting with them I've also come away with two souvenirs that they gifted me a bookmark and um, a bottle opener and the woman said she, um, she designed it herself so yeah, what a nice little bit of serendipity that was right on with the second half of the journey then. I've got about eight kilometers left to go and it's um only 20 past one this has just been such a nice ride i was apprehensive this morning i was going a long distance because of um the state of the roads on day three but this road has just been super smooth all the way here I barely dip below 30 kilometers an hour. And I mean, even now as I'm talking to this camera, I'm going at what, 29? I don't know where I'm gonna be sleeping tonight because this definitely doesn't look like a city. Right, seven kilometers to go. And then I'll find out where the hell it is I'm sleeping.
shit, it's this. Oh my god, what place have I booked? Fantastic. This it. Another 18 kilometers, which is nothing. So yeah, but hopefully at the end of it, I'm gonna have a far better room. Hotel should be in there somewhere. I was starting to panic a little bit because I've just been on that rural uh, road for the last 19, 18, 19 kilometers and thinking, am I going to get sent to like another shack again? Fingers crossed, this will be a proper hotel with a kettle, complimentary coffee. A shower, which doesn't look like it's going to give me tetanus if I stand in there. And a toilet I can actually sit on. And don't need the heels of an Olympic shot putter to take a shit. I've arrived. Um, it's a little bit different than the last time I was at. I switched the camera off when I was coming in because I just thought, oh, Whatever, it's just entering the hotel. I don't need to have the camera hanging down here. I'm just going to stick it in my pocket. I wish I'd kept it on because as soon as you walk in, it's like some fancy French boutique, Tim Burton-esque sort of place. I mean, as soon as I walked in here, the room was dark, the curtains were drawn. I put the um, the room key card into the electricity slot. All of a sudden the lights come on, curtains start drawing by themselves, TVs on. This place is absolutely fantastic. They've got a gym, they've got a laundry room, they've got a cafe, they've got like a juice bar. I'm kind of glad I um, rode that extra, what was it, 18 kilometers down that little country path. That was worth it. Hey, it's me from the future. I'm recording this really fast because um, it's gone 10 o'clock at night and I still haven't even finished editing this video for the day. And I don't want to get behind on them. But um, quickly, I'm in a place called Chung Chao Jiang. Sorry, I don't know the tones. Um, I don't think anyone does because I had a look on the internet about this place and all TripAdvisor says about it is congratulations, you've discovered a new place. Leave a review. I don't know if I can bother to give a review, but um, yeah, it was enjoyable walking around. Interesting. Everybody here is basically staring at me and it's not too much of an of an overstatement to say is everybody i nearly caused a traffic accident earlier when some young woman on a moped was like just staring at me and then he crashed into a car that was turning into a street i did do like a little bit of um walking along and talking on my phone whilst i was walking around here but um i was just so self-conscious because i was drawing a lot of attention to myself as it was without walking around with a phone at arm's length, talking away in a foreign bloody language nobody can understand. There was a nice park, I looked in there, but then I just, it was just absolutely full of people and I just did not want every single one of them just eyeballs on me, you know. I had some nice dinner, um, I went to some um, restaurant where you uh, grilled your own food. The woman in there tried speaking a little bit of English, but um, I spoke more Chinese than she did English. 
she was adamant and helped me grill some of the meat, which was really nice of her. It was an absolutely delicious food. I um, had like black pepper beef and some ox tongue. It was really good. Thumbs up. I didn't get back to the hotel uh, until late. So that's why I'm really behind on editing this video because it was difficult to eat, grill my own food and edit a video in the um, cafe at the same, all, all at the same time. But yeah, I'm quickly gonna get this uh, edited, posted up, and then um, I wanna get my head down, get to sleep because I've got a long day ahead of me tomorrow because I've just got here full of energy, full of beans today. Um, not exhausted at all. I've gone for a bit of a longer distance tomorrow. Fingers crossed the roads are going to be the same as they were today and not like they were on day three, which absolutely exhausted me. Right, that's it from me for the night. Uh, good night. One hand. Post again tomorrow.